Hello, I'm Command Sergeant Major Donna Brock, Senior Enlisted Advisor to the Army Surgeon General and Command Sergeant Major of the U.S. Army Medical Command. I want to take a few moments of your time to discuss three topics that all of us, in and out of uniform, have an individual responsibility to eliminate. That is sexual assault, sexual harassment, and hazing. Not taking action goes against our seven core Army values. From our first days in basic combat training, we are drilled on the importance of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage. From this point forward, it's our responsibility. No, it's our duty to live these values in everything we do no matter where you are or what you are doing. One might ask, so what's the difference between sexual assault and sexual harassment? While related, they're definitely not the same. Let me explain. Sexual harassment is a form of gender discrimination that involves unwelcome sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature. Sexual assault, on the other hand, refers specifically to rape, forcible sodomy, indecent assault, or carnal knowledge as defined by the Uniform Code of Military Justice. The acronym SHARP, or Sexual Harassment Assault Prevention and Response Program, reinforces the Army's commitment to eliminate incidents of sexual assault through a comprehensive policy. This policy centers on awareness and prevention, training and education, victim re advocacy, response, reporting, and accountability. The goals of SHARP are to create a climate that minimizes sexual assault incidents which impact all Army personnel and family members. To create a climate that encourages victims to report incidents of sexual assault without fear of retaliation. Establish sexual assault prevention training and awareness programs to educate soldiers. To ensure sensitive and comprehensive treatment to restore victims' health and well being. Ensure leaders understand their roles and responsibilities and thoroughly investigate allegations of sexual assault. And last but not least, take appropriate administrative and disciplinary action. The last topic I want to discuss is hazing. Lieutenant General Horho and I strongly echo the recent emphasis that Secretary of Defense Panetta and Chairman Dempsey have placed on this topic. We, as professionals, have a personal obligation to prevent hazing and ensure that we treat our soldiers with dignity and respect. Just like sexual harassment and assault, hazing is not compatible with the Army values we live by. The very foundation of what we do depends on trust, and trust depends on the equitable and fair treatment of all soldiers. Hazing in any form has no place in our Army and will not be tolerated. As you know, Hazing is nothing new and is explicitly prohibited by Army regulations and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Let it be known that individuals who participate in, allow, or condone hazing will be subject to disciplinary action that may include non-judicial punishment or court-martial. Our core values of loyalty, duty, respect, selfless service, honor, integrity, and personal courage are essential components of who we are as soldiers for the best Army in the world. I highly encourage you to embrace these values and to have the intestinal fortitude to correct a wrong when you see it. That's what's expected. That's what we do because that's who we are. We are Army Medicine, serving to heal, an honor to serve.